Hi folks, Richard Ash, Folkcraft Instruments. I'm going to show you a quick demo of a dulcimer. This one's already sold. I can make you unlike it, but you can't have it because it's sold. It's going to a lady named Diane, and she's going to be very happy to get this in the mail in a couple days. This one is a Folkcraft Custom Series dulcimer. Uh, it's got the contemporary head. All the tuners are on one side. Customer requested this to be set up with three strings. We put four tuners on it at her request, so if she ever decides to do double melody or four equidistant strings, she's got the hardware to support it. We also did an extra anchor pin at the other end to hold the anchor pin of the fourth string if she ever chooses to go that route. This instrument is pretty basic as far as woods go, but it's got a tremendously warm, rich sound. Walnut body, which is back and sides. This one does have the Galax back, so it's got two backs on there with little spacers there. Uh, walnut body, butternut top. Butternut is actually walnut, if you guys that didn't know that. Butternut is actually known as white walnut. When we say walnut, we're talking black walnut. So we have black walnut and white walnut, and we usually just say walnut, butternut. But butternut is a hardwood in the walnut family. Hardwood meaning leaves that fall off in the wintertime. But the butternut is very soft compared to walnut. White walnut is very soft compared to black walnut. It's just not, not as dense, it's not quite as fibrous. So it has a totally different character as far as tone goes. This one does have the Bubinga fretboard veneer. B-U-B-I-N-G-A, like Bubba in Georgia. B-U-B-I-N-G-A. Um, it's a South American wood, I'm pretty sure. Very hard, very durable. It's got this kind of beautiful salmon color that's gonna hold that color real nicely. So Bubinga is a really top, top choice for, as far as that goes. Nearly as hard and dense as ebony. Doesn't have that black color, but I think it's got its own character, especially walnut butternut. It just looks really sharp. Uh, McCarty Nut Bridge, three strings. This one does have the racing stripes. People commented on that last time. We're doing inlays of inlays now in the fretboard and in the back. So we've got a walnut piece, two pieces book matched. Book matched, they open up, open up like a book. A couple stripes of maple and a stripe of bubinga down the middle. Bubinga heel cap. Then the racing stripes in the fretboard as well. And those are not stickers. Somebody asked me if those are decals. No, those are. this is actually five pieces of wood in this fretboard. Six if you count the fretboard veneer. Walnut, maple, bubinga, maple, walnut, then a bubinga veneer. Anyway, so this does have the extra fret at six and a half and 13 and a half. Customer did not request the one and a half and the eight and a half in this case. And let me play a little bit for it, a little bit for you here. This is sliding around on my apron, so I'm gonna use one of these shelf liner non-slip pads that'll hold it in place better, better than nothing. A little bit of boiled cabbage. a slow tune. Back to a strummer. One of my favorite combinations of wood, walnut, butternut, bubinga. Looks good, sounds good. Thanks for watching.